Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, give it up for Bailey. Bailey's our little Lhasa mix. Um, he's a real sweetheart. Uh, comes to us very often. Um, ba Bailey's um, ears are a little bit matted today. Um, doesn't doesn't look it at first glance. You could see, but if you lift this hair and you you, you separate some of this fur, you'll see that you know this is a big mat right here. Um, you know, there's a couple of ways of doing this. Uh, to sit there and brush it out, uh, you know, it, it could be a little bit uh, challenging for the dog. You know, you don't want to yank on them too much. Um, some people use what's called a mat splitter. It's a series of blades. Um, and what you do with this is you just separate the mat and you just pop, pop it in and kind of scissor through the mat. Um, only thing with this is, if you're not a professional dog groomer, I don't recommend using this at all um, if you're not experienced with using this tool. Um, I'm going to show you a shortcut uh, that's a little bit less stressful for the dog. Uh, you may have seen it in our, in, our, uh, in our Shih Tzu video as far as clipping the matted tail with Roscoe. It's going to be the same concept here with Bailey. Um, I'm using an Andis Clipper number 10 blade on it um, and again we're just going to kind of we're, we're slanting the blade sideways and even with this you want to be very very careful and we're just kind of creating little divots and cutting through the mat like that and then just separating the fur but just simply by doing these little divots here and breaking through the mat with your 10 blade And again, we're just, see what I'm doing here is this, this cover up here is, we're going to use that. So I'm separating that, I'm separating that. It's okay, Bills. Good boy. And we're just getting to the mat. And little by little, now we can brush through that a little bit. Like that. And you can already see it's starting to, starting to uh, get through. I'm going to do it a little bit more. And we're going to use that cover up here. Remember that. So once you break through that mat, you can get in there better with the brush. So you're pulling all that, pulling the mat out, the undercoat of the mat, just by separating it. And another thing we're going to do is we're going to do what I call pancaking the ear. We're going to do the inside of the ear because that mat basically comes all the way down and, and connects on the inside of the ear as well. So by brushing the inside of the ear like this, and then pancaking it this way, and you may have to do that a couple of times, just come back and forth. It's okay, Bales, come on, Bubba. See, if we were to do this solely with the brush or the comb, it would be too much for him. That's why we're doing it this way, to make it easier on, on Bailey. Uh, so that there's not so much tugging or yanking. Um, like I said, using the mat splitter, uh, that, that could be a little bit dangerous at times unless you really know what you're doing with that tool. Come here, Bills. It's okay, Bubba. Okay, so we're really breaking through it. Just by doing those little divots, we basically broke right through that mat. And uh, you can feel the brush just sliding through it much easier. And... Uh, then you could just take your Greyhound comb and you could see that there's just no more mat there. It almost disappears. And it's just much easier for the dog uh, to do it that way as opposed to just hitting it with the brush right away. You know, just those little divots. You know, and we're you know, just doing the same thing on this, this right ear. So you can see he's got a big mat right there. You can see that. It's a big solid mat. So we'll just do the same thing, rotate them, slanting the blade sideways. Again, always be careful with the blade as well, even if you're doing it with the blade, you still have to be very careful. Again, we're just separating that. The blade just allows you to separate the mat and use your fingers like this you know and now you could just pull that out okay. just comes out a lot easier and 
again we're just pancaking his ear, brushing the inside. And you want to be careful even with your brush. Don't brush one area for too long. You don't want to you don't want to brush burn the inside of the ear flap or anything. You know. You want to kind of that's why we flip back and forth. Do this a little like on this side and then, you know, flip it back and do this side so you're not brushing one area for too long causing a brush burn because uh, you know you'll scrape the skin with these slicker brushes you have to be careful with that uh, let me just see got through most of it it's just a little bit more you can actually hear it you know when you when you're pulling you can hear that that scratchy sound that means you're still working through a mat and then you'll start to hear it less and less once you start to hear it less and you'll feel it as well Bailey's doing so good you're such a good boy buddy we'll just pancake it one more time we'll get the inside again and the outside we'll just get our greyhound comb through it and just like that the mats mats gone seems to disappear and uh, it's, again it's just less stressful on the dog by just separating it with your 10 blade um, and then going through it as opposed to just going right for it with the brush and start yanking right away uh, you could separate it and just put it, it comes right out um, very simple okay guys he's all done now you could see his ears came out real nice and fluffy you could barely tell that we did any any clipper work on him at all so all right give it up for Bailey guys don't forget to like share and subscribe we want to show you a lot more grooming tips good boy Bills. good boy, good boy. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Good boy. I love you, buddy. Good boy. <laughs>